Hi guys, today we're going to be chatting about my current favorite bronzers that I think are great for the NC42 skin tone range. So it can be a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. Also, these are just my favorite bronzer formulas too. So even if you're not NC42, there'll be great options in here for you because they all have different ranges in them. So whether you're darker or lighter, some of these ranges will have options for you because I just like the formulas themselves. But when I first started wearing makeup, I never, ever, ever wore bronzer because I just didn't think it existed for my skin tone, especially growing up in Newfoundland, the shade ranges were very fair, very beige, and it just was not available to me. So today I'm really happy that I have a bunch of drugstore options available for you, so great prices. I also have some cruelty-free options, some high-end options, different finishes as well, and I think this is my fourth time doing this video, so if you are not wearing bronzer yet, I mean, I used to not wear it, and now it's my favorite thing to apply, uh, I should have some options in here with the, the four or so videos that I've done. I've also done other NC40 videos on uh, lipstick shades that I like, blushes, etc. So that will all be linked down below, but let's go ahead and get started. This first bronzer that I'm mentioning is so long overdue. I'm glad it's here but it took them a long time to get here. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it is the Hula Bronzer in Caramel. So they now have Hula, which was the original. Then they launched Hula Light, which I was like, uh, I don't know, maybe that just perplexed me, but I was like, I feel like we need to go Hula Dark before we go Hula Light, because Hula Light, or just like do it all at once, um, Hula itself was already very, very cool. It was on the more fair-ish side, I felt like. Uh, a lot of skin tones could use it, but just the undertones, like I used it, but I wasn't in love with it, and it really depended how much color I had in my skin, because I can vary a lot in terms of shade range. Uh, so I was so pumped to see this launch. There is a caramel and a toasted which is the next shade up and I think a little bit warmer. This is a super warm bronzer. I've mentioned before that I'm not a huge fan of the Benefit box packaging, but I think it's cute and it's part of their shtick, so so be it. Um, but the actual product that's in here I think is great. It's very warm, it's quite pigmented, so you do pick up a lot of product, like it's not super tightly packed in there, so don't go too crazy, don't use a super dense brush if you want to kind of build it up on your face, but I really, really love this. And why don't I mention my favorite bronzer brush while we're here? My old favorite bronzer brush was like a Sephora collection one that was discontinued or like part of a holiday kit. Uh, currently my favorite bronzer brush is this one from MAC. It's one of my only MAC brushes I think, but it's the 14 OS and I just absolutely love it. I do have videos on my favorite brushes, so I will link to those down below, but yeah overdue but I'm glad it's here. A bronzer that I have been using non-stop this year is actually a face powder and this is another overdue shade extension from Rimmel. This is the Stay Matte uh, Powder. This says it's lightweight, mattifying, uh, and lasts up to five hours which is a very realistic claim that I appreciate but if you do have trouble finding a good shade for a bronzer take a look at face powders because they can be a little bit more buildable, not as pigmented, and just come in a wider shade range of course depending on the brand. Range. So recently Rimmel extended the shade range on this uh, powder and they sent me a bunch of different shades and I ha happened to pick up the shade Pecan and I was like, why don't I try it as a bronzer? And I have not stopped using it as a bronzer. I think it's just the, the texture is so light, it is so buildable, you can't overdo it for the most part, uh, and it just looks gorgeous on the skin and the shade is great. So I really do like it as a face powder, but I've really been preferring this as a bronzer and even if you don't want to pick up this one, I did just want to kind of mention it. Take a look at the face powders if you've yet to do that. Either a powder or a powder foundation. A powder foundation will have more pigmentation in it so keep that in mind this is almost like not translucent but definitely doesn't have as much pigment in there as a powder foundation but it gives a beautiful beautiful finish on the skin and if you have an oilier skin type it's going to be uh, a more matte finish and perhaps more long lasting on your skin as well let's talk about a brand that has been known for great shade ranges they changed the industry and that is Fenty now I have three of them here, which is excessive. But again, I'm a YouTuber, so what do you expect? We have been known to overdo things sometimes, but they sent me the entire range. I did swatch the entire range on my blog, so I will link to that down below, along with a blog post which swatches a few of the shades next to probably some of the other shades that I'm mentioning or some of the other bronzers here today and some other popular bronzers if you're trying to figure out your shade and can't make it in store. I have held on to all three of these shades because they all kind of work, and I don't really have a preference, so you'll see in my swatches today, I will swatch all three for you. I really felt like the range 
uh, it went quite fair and it went quite deep, but I felt like the it was pretty heavy in the kind of middle bronzer shades for someone like my skin tone. Uh, and then also some fair people love like a really heavy bronzer and some people who are deeper than me might not like a deeper bronzer. So I don't know, it kind of depends, but I have Island Ting Caramel Cutie and Oh, people told me how to pronounce this. Bayesian gal, I believe you pronounce the, the J in here in like Caribbean because it's confusing because my boyfriend is Serbian and their J's are Y, so it would be like Bayan gal. But I'm pretty sure if you're a Caribbean, it's Bayesian gal. Anyways, all three of these work. Um, Caramel Cutie, I think, is the deepest, so I was using that when I had the most color. But like I said, all three shades work. I feel like these bronzers are pretty pigmented. They also not necessarily have a powdery form formula, but again, similar to the actually kind of reminds me of the Benefit formula in that you can kick up quite a bit of product, so you don't want to go in with a brush that is too dense and get too much product on your face because then it may be harder to blend. And that's why I love that. MAC brush that I mentioned because it's dense enough to pick up product but also kind of blends things out and I always put bronzer along my forehead along kind of my cheek bone line here uh, along my jawline and then also on the sides of my nose that's how I prefer to do it maybe a little under my chin you've probably seen me do it in multiple get ready with me's but yeah I really really like these I like the formula I like the packaging and of course I love supporting Fenty because they're a pretty awesome brand next I want to talk about a brand that has been more or less forgotten but still exists in Canada anyways I believe it's been discontinued in the United States uh, and is crazy affordable. Now, I actually made the mistake of not going back and looking at my other videos before filming this to double check that I hadn't mentioned this before, but I don't think that I have. I actually used up an entire one of these because I think this was the second or third bronzer that I discovered that I was like, oh my god, it works for my skin. And it's actually a great kind of multitasking product. I would have talked about this years ago in like 2013, 2012 when I started my channel, um, but it is the NYC Color real mosaic face powder so I don't know that they necessarily intend this to be a bronzer uh, but it is in oh it is yeah it's called all over bronze glow it's got a ton of different shades in here and I used to use this as a bronzer and as eyeshadow because you have those kind of creamy shades in here you've got kind of mid-tone browns like a bronzery brown and a deep brown and all of those shades swirl together work like a great bronzer on my skin this is probably four dollars Canadian incredible price totally a forgotten brand so I absolutely wanted to mention this in case you're like at Walmart and you're like what's up with NYC lately like I love their lipsticks and stuff they they never get talked about anymore that I mean they're not launching any new products or really doing anything anything but they still exist so at least I'm pretty sure like I've I've seen them uh, so if you happen to come across this color real mosaic face powder it's actually very good the majority of the bronzers that I'm mentioning today are matte which is generally my preference or like a satin finish but I feel like shimmery bronzers have come a long way they're not like the chunky glitter that they once were or the ones that I prefer anyways so this is kind of a newer one from NYX and NYX is actually the first bronzer that I ever used the NYX matte bronzer in the shade deep that was my jam I went through like two of those it was the first one I discovered and I was like this is it baby I'm bronzing from here on in so excited to try this one it is the California Beeman bronzer bronzer in the shade the OC. I think there's six or seven shades in here. I haven't ever seen it in person so I'm not sure like how fair and how deep it actually goes. Huge huge pan on this um, but like I mentioned this is a shimmery bronzer. I really do like this. There's no like huge chunks of glitter in here. It has like a a kind of a sheen when you put it on the face like I've used all of these bronzers in videos I'll try to find as many uh, examples as I can listed down below so you can see them in action if you're curious about any in particular but I really like this and it's a great drugstore price it is a cruelty free brand NYX is quite affordable they're always on sale as well especially in the US you lucky ducks um, but I really like this and I did want to give you a shimmery bronzer option and this isn't like a shimmery to be scared of like I have been of uh, in the past Maybelline finally launched some bronzers a little while back. They are the City Bronzers Bronzer and Contour Powder. Now this range is not great. I think there's three shades and this is the deepest. So would love to see some more shades in there because we know Maybelline can do good deep shade ranges. They've got the Fit Me line. So I mean, make the, the corresponding products to go with your foundations. like choose the fit me life and continue that life within the rest of the brand but I do really like this and I'm glad that this shade does work for me if you are deeper than me I'm not sure that like if you're maybe an NC45 uh, I don't think you could wear this if you're much deeper than me honestly but if you are around my shade this is a good match and I think if you do have quite fair skin I think the shade 100 looks very very fair in this line this is a matte bronzer it is not super warm but also not super like 
kind of cool toned like people got so into contour and like cool toned gray powders and stuff for a while it was like you can't put bronzers on your face you can't contour with bronzers and like sure you can't necessarily contour with bronzers but you can contour your face with bronzers if that makes sense like if you have a foundation on and you put a bronzer on it's gonna add definition to your face which is kind of contouring if you get what I mean but like you may not want to be taking like a super warm red bronzer and like trying to chisel out your cheek kind of thing if that makes sense but anyways uh, they do call this a bronzer and contour powder I never really do the typical contour very often anymore my my uh, Kevin Aquan powder is my favorite for that it's so expensive and I've broken it twice but anyways that's another story uh, I do really like this and it is another great drugstore option cover effects launched these duos a little while back and every single blush from this collection is a banger like and I don't say many things are bangers because I don't know it just doesn't feel right but it felt right then uh, but they also launched some bronzers and both of these work for me one is a little bit warmer one is a little bit cooler so I thought I would show them to you and compare them for you uh, they come with a matte side and a kind of satiny highlighty shimmery side also for the blushes too uh, so we have sun-kissed bronze which is the one that I've worn more typically it's kind of my more typical bronzer like not super warm and not super cool and then you have this one which I think you can see is like a little bit warmer I haven't gotten as much use out of this one but really really beautiful uh, and they both do come with these kind of shimmery sides as well if I had to like choose between the bronzers and the blushes I would probably choose the blushes luckily I don't have to choose um, but these bronzers are really good options and I'm I can't say for sure but I'm pretty sure cover effects in general like I know in all of their a lot of their products like are recommended by dermatologists and stuff so I, I didn't do like major research on this but if you do have any sensitivities in your skin and you tend to like cover effects products it's really exciting that they are coming out with color products uh, again these are the only two bronzers that they launched so I'd love to see some deeper shades but if you do have deeper skin they launched a blush called mulberry I think it is in the duos and that is like this beautiful kind of deeper purple incredible for deep skin I know I'm talking more about the blushes than I am the bronzers but I did want to mention that the bronzers are great too and the last one that I want to mention is another drugstore cruelty free option super affordable of course from elf this is one of their primer infused bronzers which kind of became a popular thing for a little while there like I love me the primer infused blushes from buxom and they also have blushes in this line too which are really nice this one is in the shade constantly bronzed I can't remember how many shades are in this bronzer line it might only be two or three so it's not a huge range but really great I love that the packaging is simple like it doesn't have weird brushes it's not super bulky it's a great affordable brand and this shade is on the warmer side but not too warm it's not too red for my skin tone and I think it's a really great bronzer uh, would I say it lasts like incredibly long like longer than all of these no but it still has great great lasting power uh, I expect uh, elf was like really hit or miss for a while there and it's still is but less so I mean the prices have gone up along with like having less hit or miss products more hits uh, but I do really really enjoy this bronzer from them because they had some in the past that I didn't really like but I really do like this one I especially like how sleek it looks but the performance is great too so there you have it those are all of my current favorite bronzers like I mentioned I've done this video now four times so if there's something that I've you know talked about loving that I didn't mention today it's probably in one of those videos or it will be in my fifth bronzer video Video. but let me know down below what your favorite bronzers are no matter your skin tone always curious to hear your thoughts thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on instagram twitter and facebook at samantha jane yt and i'll see you guys next time bye